Hello YouTube, this is Train K Chris here, the new profile at the Chris Rich Kid. Anyways, I have made a few videos, but they're not actually good. So my new YouTube channel will be all about trains, some GTA videos, Far Cry 3, and other things. Mostly they're going to be about trains and some games. Actually, you'll like some of them, and some of them you might not like. Anyways, today we're going to be learning how you download OpenBVE 1.42. Everybody has said OpenBVE is hard for me to download, and it's very annoying. But I'm going to show you in the simplest steps ever. Open up your browser, and you're going to go to this website right here. OpenBVE Net ZXQ OD Fine. And then after that, you're going to okay OpenBVE 1.42 right here. You're going to click it, and then after that, you're going to download it. The download should be arriving. Then you go to the quick install guide. If you do not have this net for client profile, you have to download it. The next thing is you'll need OpenAL. This is most important. You can only have this and OpenBPE. You must have these three. If you don't have Open Net Frame, you have to download it. You have to. It's not a I can't. You have to. Or you have to follow what it says on OpenVVE when you open it. So you're gonna download that, and you're gonna download SDL. So as so, let these things download in meanwhile, and we're gonna go back here to your folder. You're gonna have an OpenVVE folder like this. I already have mine set up, so I'm gonna use one called PreBVE. Anyways, you're gonna go here into PreBVE. You're gonna take the OpenBVE, the file that you downloaded, and you're gonna drag it to that destiny destinated area. You're gonna drag it to that area you want it to be. Then you're gonna take the other one, which is the SDL, and you're gonna drag it to pre-BVE when it's loaded. And it's still waiting for it. Okay, when you when you're done with the putting both, you're gonna do this. You're going to right click again, and you're gonna do this. Seven zip here. You have to seven zip the file. Do not click on it and think it can open up. You got to seven zip the file or extract it, meaning that you have to have something that can open these two files right here. So now I come in these two files. Anyways, my platform is 7-zip. Okay, here it goes. And yes. The next thing is, you have to have open AL. I do not need it, and I'm going to show you that I already have it. I already have this, so all you need to do is you download it. I am not specified for Linux or Mac OS. My working platform is only Windows. So, as it's extracting itself, I think I might show you how you put together routes. Well, that'll be in the next video for now, but I'm only showing you how you install it. Anyways, you're gonna go to your route folder again which is OpenBVE and then you are going to extract the files with whatever you got Okay, now it's done. Anyways, um, to show you, to make sure you have the program open AL, see right here? You have to have the program in order for it to work. Open AL. Since I already have it, I don't need to worry. Only y'all need to. To make sure your programs are always installed, go to the control panel. From the start menu, click default programs. This is how you install and uninstall programs. Well, this is mostly how you uninstall. Then you're gonna go to whatever program you want and you could uninstall it like that. Now that we are done here, we're gonna go back to our folder which is pre-BVE and you're gonna see a bunch of these. 
you're gonna see tail open al gl and all these stuff right here now you're gonna see the program you're gonna double click on it and you're gonna open it well i think you're done now for this so you're gonna x this out now we are done with the browser so you can x this out too you're gonna open that and then after that you're gonna wait for it to load if you want to use um anything else for bve i'll be glad to show you just post it in the link box below we're still waiting for it to open so i'll give it some time Anyways, this is taking too long. Um, anyways, you're gonna find the open BVE again, and then after that, you're going to click it again. If it doesn't open up, you gotta go back and double click it. Anyway, you're going to open up the BVE file, it's going to show up like this. You're gonna open up Open BVE and you're gonna see these things right here. Oh, never mind. Here comes the other two. Anyways, when you open up BVE, the one thing you want to do is to pin it to the taskbar so that whenever you open it up again and again, you don't have to go back to the downloads. So anyways, you're going to, you are going to do this. You're going to go to browse manually and you're going to see a route that you want when you set up. It has to be like C users blank downloads a route or pre route railway route that right here and NTT. You gotta go like this. C users blank downloads New York City A railroad route NYC and NTT. This is the C. In BVE you get different modes. This was the accidental of somebody else driving. In BVE you got to review your last games, you get to customize your controls. If you know what you are doing, I suggest you can customize it. Options right here. You either go into full screen or window mode. I present the full screen for me because I like to have the big screen like all around. I don't like it little. Anyways, you're going to choose a train. The train, let's say I want to choose this one right here. And then I'm going to use the 42. It's going to load up the train and it's going to load up the actual screen. Then after that, the game is going to go off and you're going to see a big train in the front of it. You don't have to use this train. You could use anyone you want. For example, you could use the 42, you could use the 44, anything you want. You can even make it into your own little whatever you want it to do. But I don't give you any restrictions, but good luck. Thank you for watching, and I really appreciate it.